Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Michael McCarville, and in this episode, we're going to go ahead and build a extension on the machine shop for the East Broadtop. So that kit was a pretty monstrous kit. Uh, check it out; it's an earlier video, especially if you're looking for any of the information about glues and adhesives, paints, whatever. I'm not going to go ahead and go through all that again. Um, if you've already built it and you're at this point, you don't need that information anyway because uh, you've already figured out what you need to do. So this is going to be very similar build to the previous one. Uh, I want to thank Nate from Broadtop Mountain Models for allowing me to feature this build in our video series. Um, and also Bill Banta for putting together this kit uh, for Nate because it's fantastic and uh, the instructions are really good. Uh, this video is really meant to augment the instructions. Tons and tons of photos. Bill has tons of descriptions in here. There's not a lot of gray areas. Um, but, I mean, you can see, I mean, you know, most of the instructions is, is photos. So, uh, what I'm doing is just going through a walkthrough and gives you a little bit different angle. Also shows you some colors and things like that, too. Um, and also my take on the build as well. Uh, there's a couple of steps in here that we're going to do. We're going to customize a few things. Now, if you remember from the first video for the machine shop, we uh, customized the flooring and we put a foundation around the bottom of it. Um, originally, the idea was that the kit was going to get glued down onto a big piece of MDF. I wanted it a little more portable. I don't know if I'm going to use this for shows or whatever. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, put a foundation around it to match the height of the, uh, the original kit, which is right over my shoulder there, uh, that shoulder. <laughs> so um, um, once again, uh, uh, there'll be a lot of information in the notes down below. But this is going to be a boiler house kit, which is kit number two. Now, the cool thing about this kit is uh, there's parts in it to make it standalone. Now, the walls are made to butt up against the machine shop. So there's actually three wall sections. But included in the kit is some wall pieces that if you wanted to, you could make this a standalone, standalone boiler house. So Keep that in mind as you're building it. If it looks like maybe it's something that you want to use in a different area, you can make it in a mine complex, an industrial setting, you know, steel mill, power plant for a city, whatever. Um, I thought that was a pretty cool concept to the point that when we we'll get done building the uh, East Broadtop Boiler House and, ex and add it as an extension on the machine shop, I'm going to build this again. And I'm going to build a second kit, and I'm going to build it as a boiler house that goes on a mine complex and uh, up in the mountains. So it's going to be using this kit in a completely different way. So anyway, check that out. And uh, there is some uh, a few other additional steps in this video uh, where we do a little bit of customization, the flooring. Now, the flooring is cool because we actually use the parts that are made to make this a standalone building. Um, I use that material, and that's the flooring. So you don't even have to buy any flooring for this. So anyway, let's get to it. Uh, we're going to go through this video, uh, very typical of all the videos that I've created. We're going to go through a parts overview. So you can see all the parts that uh, come with the kit. Um, I kind of showed you the instructions, but they're great. And then um, we're going to go through this one step at a time, and it's pretty faithful to uh, the instructions that Bill Banta has written. There may be a spot one or two where I clarify or I change it around, but generally um, I'm pretty sure that until you get to maybe the very end of the roof section, which is the very last part of this, um, everything else is pretty much by the book. So um, let's get to it and uh, then we'll wrap it up at the end.
Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, once again, this is game number two of three. So there's a car shop going on the back side of the of the machine shop. And uh, we're also going to build this kit again as a complete kit bash. We're going to make this a mine complex boiler house. Freestanding, doesn't get attached to anything else. So uh, we're going to have fun with that. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching. And uh, once again, thanks to uh, uh, Nate from... Um, Broad Top Mountain Models and Bill Banta for putting this kit together uh, for Nate. And uh, if you're curious, uh, there is a link in the video uh, description, and that'll show you exactly where to go if you're curious about picking this kit up for yourself. So I hope you do, and I had a lot of fun with it, and I'm going to build number two now. So uh, until next time, guys, see ya and take care.